Hey, what is up, guys? It's me, Alpha Bob and Ovi, and welcome back to the channel. It's a pleasure to have you guys on board, and I love Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah buddy and there's a jet going by by the way there's a lot of noise today at my house like outside my house like there's all kinds of construction going on there's like uh, people are just doing all kinds of things it's 825 california time some dude soldering and i can hear it i don't know maybe the mic is going to pick all that up and you guys are going to be able to hear it but i kind of need to get this commentary out of the way and i didn't mention i didn't say or i didn't ask you guys how are you guys today and how's your family doing how's your mom sister boyfriend i hope you guys are doing a-okay and i hope they are doing good and i hope you guys enjoying or you are enjoying the time you're spending with them or if you're playing dark souls like i've been doing i've been playing a lot of dark souls and enjoying myself by the way i have a new build too that i want to show i want to show you guys with my new build um, because I got a virus on my computer, um, not a virus, my computer was acting up for like months, um, it was, I don't know, my computer was just acting up and I finally had enough of it, and I forgot, and I was gonna do it too, I was gonna back up my Dark Souls 2, um, save data, but then on the end of the day, I just forgot, I don't know, <laughs> Then I when I, when I was like re, when I um reinstall Steam, well, all I have to do is reinstall Steam. I don't even have to download the game because I already have the game installed on the hard drive. So I don't even have to um install the game. All I, all I gotta do is download Steam and sign log in, and then Steam install whatever the requirements, whatever I need for it to run the game. But uh, the game is already installed on a different hard drive, so that's good. Um, anyways, let's get right into this video after me rambling for a couple of minutes there not even a minute and 47 seconds And by the way, this video is going to be 26 minutes and one second Yeah, buddy. It's pretty long. Uh, this is the second part of the other video that I uploaded the one that I told you guys Oh, I have another half hour and I'm gonna commentate over. I think the video was like 50 minutes and something seconds. Anyways, guys, um, I changed my mind. I guess this is the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about. I changed my mind so often. It's like, I don't know, maybe I'm a girl or maybe deep down inside I want to be a girl or have girls hormone or something because I think we all have girls hormones. I don't really know. Okay, so I made a video, right? Uh, not a video. Yeah, I did make a video, and it was like um, I'm rich, and it was I had a voiceover. It was me counting money. Okay, that video should that was supposed to be my intro. That's why it's like 10 seconds long. If you paid attention to that video, it was 10 seconds long. I don't know how long if you just subscribed to my channel or like um, how long have you been subscribed to my channel? But about a month ago or less, maybe three weeks. No, a month ago, I made a video and I named it I'm Rich and I put the voice over that merchant, the one in Medjula, the one that sells you armor, um, the Indian looking guy. Uh, so I made a video and I put his voice over it and I also put like some music and I named it Finally Rich or I don't know, something like that, or I am Rich. And then I was like, I'm going to use this for my intro. And I never did. I didn't like the quality. I mean, I didn't mind the video. But I didn't like the quality. It looked so bad. Like it looked really bad because I recorded it with a webcam, and I guess autofocus was on, and it was just it was bad quality. I didn't like it at all. So and then I made another one, and it, believe me, to make these videos takes me a long time. It takes me I don't know two to three hours because I, I want to perfect them. I want to make them. I want the fade ins, fade outs. I want them to look good, and on top of that, they. They can only be 10 seconds because I don't know. I think an intro more than 10 seconds is not an intro anymore. And if you're going to use it in every every single one of your videos, uh, I don't know. And then before that, I was using like anime pictures of girls, like pretty girls, anime pictures. And then I got rid of that because I just didn't like it anymore. Um, and then recently I made, I'm pretty sure most of you guys seen this one. I made a parrying video. I, I'll probably add it to this video, but now I don't like it anymore. I don't know. Maybe I should just stop making intros because at the end of the day, I'm just don't use them. Um, because I'm just that weird. I guess I changed my mind. Like I said, I'm like a girl. I'm like a girl. I change my mind every five minutes. <laughs> But yeah, buddy, uh, let me see. Okay, so I this is the main topic and this is the main thing we're going to be talking about today. It's going to be like, I think I know why a lot of Dark Souls, hardcore Dark Souls 1 players don't like Dark Souls 2. 
um and i don't think it has to do with any of the game mechanics i think it has to do more more with you than the game and i'm going to give you guys a little rundown of um why do i think this is um so okay i'm going to give you guys my history how i started playing online and all that okay we're going to start from the very very beginning when alpha papa Novi didn't play online when Alpha Papa Novi didn't know what online gaming was, and when he discovered online gaming, how epic he thought it was, and how much I loved it, all right? So, I don't remember what year it was. I remember I was like 23 or 24, and I started playing. I used to always love this game, and I knew it had an online mechanic, but your play, but I didn't have internet. On top of that, I didn't have internet. My PlayStation needed an adapter, my PlayStation 2, in order to play online with other people. Um, in order to go online, you need an adapter that you plug in on the back and then you plug in the cable of the internet on the back. Um, so I kind of never looked into it. Um, but I got this game since the first game came out, since SOCOM. That was the first game that I played, but not online, that I really liked. It was a shooter game, right? SOCOM. So I beat SOCOM a couple of times. And then SOCOM 2 came along. Uh, we're talking about like two years after SOCOM 2 came along. And this game's had an online mechanic. You can play online with other people and all that kinds of fun stuff. You can co-op. Um, no, I think co-op wasn't... I think they involved... They put co-op like in the fourth game, in the fourth installment. Okay, so then SOCOM 2 came around. I bought that. I beat it a couple of times. And then SOCOM 3 came out, right? Like two, three years after it came out. And I was just getting off drugs i wanted it to get off drugs because i used to do a lot lots lots of drugs i used to go out i used to club i used to party hard and at this when token 3 came out i was trying to get off all that i was trying not to go out because i was already married um i wasn't I, I was trying to stop all that i wasn't trying to go out to clubs anymore i was just trying to stay home i was like 24 and i was trying to change i was trying to become a different man and then i was like okay so maybe if i look into this playing online maybe that will change me maybe maybe i'll stay home more often and i bought the i bought the one thing the the adapter i don't know exactly the name of the adapter that you needed to um play online but i bought it i went and i asked i actually think i called sony and i asked him i was like i want to play online this game but i don't like i don't have the i can't plug my playstation into the back of the um unit and so they gave me the name and they told me you can go to gamestop and pick one up so i did that i went and i went to gamestop i picked one up i came home i plug it in and then i already had internet because i had already made sure that i was going to have internet i had already called my cable and i was like listen i need internet and then i came back and when i came back it like you it was like a weird setting it wasn't like now that you had like okay all you have to do is buy the game you plug in your wire into the back of your ps3 or your xbox one or your playstation 4 or your xbox or your ps3 and you're good to go no it wasn't like that you have to set a whole like you have to set up a bunch of things that i didn't understand because i never done it so i was on the phone with a um representative with the sony representative like the whole day the dude even had a lunch with me on the phone like that's how bad I, I was a noob i was a complete noob well i finally set it up right i finally set it up and i began playing right i play and remember this is the first game that i play online this was my first first game ever online socom 3 and i fell in love with the game it, like i completely love the game and i still do i think it's my favorite game of all times i don't know if it's because i had never played online and it was my first game or the whole experience or the whole mind blowing that oh my god on the other side or on the other end with like the players that are in this lobby it's real people like i'm playing against real players like it was i was mind blowing like i used to just tell my girlfriend because you were able to chat you had mics, right? And I didn't have a mic at the time, but I went to go buy one the next day. And people were calling things out because Sokam is a, it's like a team oriented game. Like everybody, you have to play because you only, it's like Search and Destroy in, in Call of Duty. Um, over there, they call it Demolition though. It was called Demolition. It was like you grab a bomb and you only have one base where you gotta go plant it and you blow up that base, right? Um, so you got to communicate. And it's, it was 16 versus 16, so it was 32 players. And I completely fell in love. And I used to always hear, oh, that uh, they were like, Socom 1 was so much better. They're like, Socom 3 got ruined. 
and always oh socom 2 was so much better than this because they added vehicles in socom 1 there was no vehicles socom 2 there was no vehicles and in socom 3 they added vehicles they added humbies um they added trucks and they had turrets on it so like someone can drive and someone can be on the turret or you could drive and by hitting the right uh, the right deep on the d-pad hitting right you will jump on the driver on the turret and you can like just drive and pull up next to someone and jump on the turret and just fuck them up you can get a lot of kills like that and a lot of people didn't like it because of that because of the vehicles and they thought it was ruined and then there was like this water maps that um you can get in the boat like eight people can get in the boat and just fuck things up and a lot of people used to talk about like oh my god they ruined the game like socom one and two were so much better like why the fuck we have vehicles now right and i was like what this is like the best game ever like what this is the best experience like i just i just i was in love with the game i was in love with the experience i was in love with the online i was in love that i can talk to people i was in love that i could add people i was in love that people can message me i don't i never had that so i don't know if it was that or it was that I just really, really love the game. But up to this day, I really, really do love the game. And I think it's my favorite game. Okay. After that, after Socom 3, Socom Combined Assault came out. So uh, the, the complete name of the game is Socom US Navy SEALs Combined Assault. Socom US Navy SEALs. Uh, Socom 3 US Navy SEALs. Socom 2 US Navy SEALs. So the complete name is Socom 3 US Navy SEALs, right? And then Socom, uh, Socom combined, Socom US Navy SEALs combined assault. However you want to put it, you can put it before or after. It doesn't really matter. I don't remember how exactly it's on the cover. So then Socom combined assault came out, and I kind of didn't like it anymore. I it was the exact same game. They had changed vehicles, they had changed stuff, and I kind of didn't like it anymore. Right? Um, and I guess what I'm trying to get at, and since it's taking me a long time to get to the point that I'm trying to get at then um dark souls one right i start then after that i started playing call of duty call of duty one i completely love call of duty one i i was uh, not call of duty one i mean call of duty modern warfare call of duty four I, I i played it a lot i mean i didn't have anything else to play i just came from playing um socom 3 and, and combined assault and confrontations and all the socoms and then i didn't have anything else to play so call of duty was like fresh and it was new for the ps3 and i kind of forced myself to get into it but eventually i did get into it eventually i did i, I loved the game and all that but then uh call of duty modern warfare 2 came out and it wasn't the same anymore i i didn't like it um and then after call of duty modern warfare 2 i couldn't get into it i couldn't force myself to love it i couldn't i couldn't i tried and i, I just couldn't do it I, I didn't play it then black ops came out i I, I love black ops i freaking played it like for five months every freaking day dude every day every day like i had a squad right we had a, like a or a group of people that we used to play it with where i used to play it every goddamn day like non-stop for like six months um, I would play it from like 6 in the morning to like 8 at night. I didn't have a job at the time. So all I did was play. All I did was play Black Ops. Um, then Black Ops 2 came out. I didn't like it anymore. I, I didn't like the game anymore. I, I, you, they had changed things. I just didn't like it. I, it wasn't for me. I I bought it. I always buy them because my nephew and my son, they're like, I don't know. They get it all hyped and they get all happy and they get all like, let's go to the midnight lunch. Da, 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 buy it. You're going to like it. So I just end up buying it just, you know, just to shut them up. So I bought, I bought it. I didn't even open it. That's how bad it was. Like I came home and I think at this point I was already playing Dark Souls. I came home. Didn't even open it. I just left it there. I'm like, I'm going to play Dark Souls, dude. And they're like, why? Like install it. And I'm like, I'll play it tomorrow. And then it went like from tomorrow. I was like, I'll play it tomorrow. And then I just didn't even open it. And then I, I finally opened it. And then I played it for like, I don't know, three days. And I just didn't like it. All right. And then now let's talk about Dark Souls 1. And this is why I think the people, the hardcore Dark Souls fans, hardcore Dark Souls 1 don't like the game. And this is my theory. And this is why I think I kind of don't, I didn't like Dark Souls 1, uh, Dark Souls 2 at the beginning. So I think that the hardcore fans of Dark Souls 1 don't like Dark Souls 2 is because number one, this is my theory, people change. Your taste changes, what you like changes, you like different kinds of stuff, you're on a different point of your life. So for instance, when Dark Souls 1 came out, I really, really, this was my first medieval game, medieval stating that there's knights, there's um, swords, 
uh there's dragons so medieval right this is so dark souls dark souls one was my first game medieval like i have never played an open world game like this one like i have never played a game where you like you can be you like like you where you start and you can just fucking go anywhere you can go to the hardest area you can go to the easiest area you, you can just go anywhere you don't you you don't have someone to hold your hand and i play games like this one on nintendo like back in the day hard ass games like i don't know but gaming has become to where like they in every game they hold your hand i don't know why developers feel that they need to hold your hand in every single game but that's how that's that's how that's how it feels every single game they hold your hand and i remember me playing nintendo games where they don't hold your hand and they were really hard i don't know if because i was a child i was like really young I don't know maybe nine years old ten years old and like when you're that young and i couldn't read english so it was like it was really hard for me to beat games back in the day now not so much i don't know if because the games are harder or because i know how to read or because i'm older or i or i understand them better i have no clue but there's a big jet going by my house so now the dark souls so Dark Souls 1 came out. I completely loved the game. I loved the game mechanics. I loved the toggle parry. I loved everything about Dark Souls. I just loved it. I loved the source. I loved the armor. You can change your armor. You can customize your player at the beginning. I never had a game like that. Um, right? And then now that we have Dark Souls 2. And this is the main thing. I don't think it's the game. Because. And this is, this is another thing that I want to tell you guys. That's why call of duty doesn't change anything they do not change anything they leave the game the way it is that's why it's like there's no innovation there that's why it's like every year the call of duty fans or the call of duty players get the same thing over and over and over and almost the same maps call of duty call of duty 3 uh call of duty modern warfare 3 and call of duty 4 the first modern warfare if you if you if you see the pattern those games kind of have the same maps kind of they reuse a lot of the a lot of the maps um so i guess that's why call of duty doesn't change anything they leave everything the formula the same because they don't want to they don't want to lose the hardcore fans and they also want to attract new players so if they change too much from the game they're going to lose a lot of hardcore fans that they have. And if you really do think about it, if you guys ever heard of Counter-Strike, I don't know how many of you guys ever heard of Counter-Strike, but Counter-Strike is an online game, which is only on PC. It's, Counter-Strike has a lot of hardcore fans, a lot of them. And, okay, so if you if you notice Counter-Strike, Co Counter-Strike, I don't know why I'm saying Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike never changes their formula too. Like, they always make a new Counter-Strike, but they keep all the old stuff and they also don't tr they don't try to innovate like they don't innovate and i don't think it's not because they want the thing is that, like if they change too much from the game this is what's going to happen what's happening to dark souls they change too much from the game and now that a lot of hardcore f dark souls won they just don't like the new mechanics they they just because just listen to this from software did a lot like they changed the, they 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 re redid the engine or they they retouched it i don't know they they like they rebuilt the engine. I don't know if it's a new engine completely, which I don't think so, because a lot of the bullshit that happened in Dark Souls 1, like the BS and like all that, like the, a lot of the lag and a lot of shit is still here. So I don't think there's a complete new engine. I just think they like rebuild it or like they retweet, twitch it. How do you say it? Like they retouch the engine, right? Uh, you guys get what I'm trying to say. So they changed a lot of mechanics and by doing that, it backfired. It backfired really bad on them because a lot of the old hardcore fans don't like this. But then again, this is what I'm trying to get at is that I don't think it's the game. I don't think it's Dark Souls in general. I think it's more, it has to do with you, me, myself, and I. It has to do more with like, because when Dark Souls 1 came out, you were in a different, you were, you were younger. Um, how long ago was it? Like three years, right? You were at a different stage in your life. Um, and I always thought of this like, since you were younger right when dark souls one came out how old was i when the when dark souls one came out i was like 28 or 27 i think i was 27 when dark souls one came out so i don't know how old were you when dark souls one came out but if you really do think about it you were on a different stage in life you were able to deal with like you were more patient um you were more willing to learn about the game because it was new it was something that you never played um it was something different it was difficult but yeah it was in 
it wasn't unfair so you were able to deal with it maybe because you were younger maybe because you had my more patience but you were in a different stage in your life and now the dark souls 2 came out you are in a complete different stage maybe you don't have the patience that you had three years ago or four years ago whenever the game came out maybe you're in a maybe you have a girlfriend and you're constantly mad and you can't just deal with the game see you see the pattern here like because it, 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 if i was thinking about this and if you if you see my pattern it's like i like the first game I like Socom 3, I didn't like any other Socom after that. I like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, I didn't like any Modern Warfare after that. I like Black Ops um, 1, I didn't like any Black Ops after that, right? I like Dark Souls 1, I kind of forced myself to like Dark Souls 2. And I am glad I did force myself because I really do enjoy it now. But I didn't like Dark Souls 1 just like a lot of you guys don't like it. I couldn't stand it, I, I don't know, I just didn't like it. So, I think it's a combination of everything, right? It's a combination of them changing a lot of things. It's a combination of you being in a different stage in your life. And it's just a whole combination of a lot of different things. If you really do think about it, I mean, if you sit there and think about it and be like, why exactly don't I like Dark Souls 2? What is it? Is it the stone locking? Because in, in Dark Souls 1, there was a lot of bullshit too. I mean, if you compare it, right? And then you're like, but wait. Before Dark Souls 1 got patched, there was flipping habbles. There was all this bullshit. And if you think about it, Dark Souls 1 had all these hackers, had all this bullshit. You were getting people can one shot you on your back with a crystal gray sword. So if you really do ask yourself, on the end of the day, you're gonna be like, wait, is it really the game? Is it really Dark Souls 2? Or is it me that I'm on a different stage of my life? Is it is it the game or is it me? And most likely you're going to come to a conclusion that it's going to probably be you, that you're going to have different stage in your life. You like different things. You have different tastes. Maybe you're having problems. So, yeah, that's like my conclusion that I I came up with because I, I can't find any other reason because Dark Souls 2 is not a bad game. It's not a bad game at all. But anyways, let's get right into another topic. Do you guys think um from software will ever fix like all these issues that the game has it, it, it doesn't have issues i'm pretty sure it's not issues it, I, I don't know if that's the way they mean they meant to for the game to work but like for instance hacks can one shot you do you guys think they'll fix that um the the monastery scimitar and the shadow dagger like you can one shot people like you can parry them really easy but then again it's like if they patch the monastery scimitar I mean they gotta patch hacks right i mean if they patch one thing it's it is just fair for them to patch other things that's the way i see it if they patch the cemetery scimitar since i do melee only i really don't want them to patch the freaking sword uh, the the i, I want to parry the world i mean that is fun to parry people and it, it's that that's what just makes it extremely easy and i know it's it's really op but then again if you think about it if you're only doing melee if they patch that it's like do they do they want to do they really really want to just patch that and then let leave because at this point i think they should already patch a lot of hacks like some of the hacks they can one shot you because why why wouldn't they patch them i mean they did patch the old sun ring right so why not patch those hacks they can one shot you i don't even know the name of them guys because i never use spells so you guys i'm mean, gonna have to you know apologize for that because i really do not know the name i know a lot of source name like the source melee only because see like right now i'm using the black knight sword but i don't know the hacks name um you know it's just fair as they patch one thing they should patch another thing but then again if they patch one thing and it's this it's just a lot of things that the game needs to be patched like i don't remember i was watching this video but there's a song i don't know if it's the throne sword or some sword that they put resin on and you can get three shotted by it even if you have 2200 hp that thing hits you for like 800 each hit each swing you don't even have to do wield it you don't uh, not do wield it i always say do wield it two-handed i don't know why i always say do wielding do wielding is grinding it with two hands you don't even have to two-hand it you can hold it with one hand and you can literally three shot almost anyone they have to have like 2500 hp for them not to get two shot it okay and i don't know uh, would they ever patch all this stuff all this op stuff because i know the poise is not the, uh, because poise is not gonna they're not gonna fix that because poise the way poise works is from your adaptability and from your armor from whatever armor set that you have so uh, the way poise works is really weird i don't know why you, they made poise for it to work 
there's two different ways another thing that i have noticed is the front software really encourages you for you to look at that look at that guy spamming with those freaking whips from software really encourage you to level up to i guess they don't want a meter i guess from software the way they see it is they don't want a meter like they want people like if you're getting souls you need to go higher level higher level higher level higher level i guess until you get to max level because i just don't don't because if you are doing it like i'm doing it and like a, other, a lot of other players are doing it all dark souls players you're literally shooting yourself in the foot if you really do think if you really do think about it if you stay at soul level 125 or soul level 150 you're shooting your own self in the foot because the higher your soul memory goes up the more your soul memory goes up the more over galore players you're fighting think about it i was thinking about that too so yeah guys this is all the time i have for now and i'm sorry for being rambly and thank you for listening to me ramble i guess and as always take care don't do anything bad alpha papa no be checking out or signing out and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys peace